traditional space industry follows the paradigm of three to five years in design and 15 years in operation. Imagine your cell phone 20 years ago, and that's the type of infrastructure that's operating on orbit today. That is your state of the art. A group of people got together about 10 years ago and said, hey, let's make satellites that are certain size. People started to build solar panels and batteries and things that became standard, and no longer did you have to spend three to five years in design to get to a satellite. Private enterprise or small companies are generally precluded from being within the aerospace industry. Where we got the, the motivation or the, the impetus to start this is we just decided to do it. We founded the business in 2015. In 2016, we decided to raise capital. We launched our first satellite 12 months later. We got that first ping from the satellite. That was so exciting. We put something in space and it worked. For regions that are not connected to the internet, what we can offer as Kepler today is what we call a remote Dropbox service. Literally on your computer, dragging a file or a giant folder onto our terminal, uplink the data to satellite, satellite will store it, and the next time when our satellite is over our ground station, it will distribute down and then we can get the data back to you over cloud. The long-term goal for us is to set up the internet in space. To that end, the first satellites that we're deploying are solving terrestrial connectivity needs. Every region of the world can be covered by one of our satellites. And our satellites can move a mass amounts of data that nothing else could do before. Space access is being redefined. 